Do 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 do. Okay. Oh gosh, Rick's in my bed. I forgot. Get out of here, Captain. Oh no, oh, God. You're wearing that little hat. <laughs> Spirits are neutral today. This yeah. is the best hat in the game. I love it. Ash, I'm going to give you this advice because I like you and I want you to stay in Pelican Town. If there comes a day that you want to ask for someone's hand in marriage, you don't need to give them a mermaid's... Oh, no, you need to give them a mermaid's parent. You Thanks. don't well, need to give you, them a mermaid. No, Wait, you, no do. you do. Yes, you do. Yes. No. Yes, that's what you got to do. Thanks, Lewis. Thanks. Uh, oh, so we're putting you out of business, Lewis. Oh. Uh, the the uh, way you no, started... No, no. That's Pierre. That's Pierre. The way you started that sentence... I legitimately thought you were like reading a YouTube comment. Ooh! <laughs> like I thought you were like making a goof. You're like, oh no, here's here's a, your choice comment. I'm saying this to help you, Ash, but you're the worst. <laughs> Emily sent me a letter that says, I have this crazy new idea that I want to involve you in. It's called clothing therapy. Please come to the mayor's house today to see what it's all about. Love, Emily. <gasps> Love. Ooh, Rick. I'm at eight hearts with Emily. Yay. Eight hearts with Emily. Ba -ba -da -da -da. All right. All right. And you and you. Okay. Now we're taking all this stuff out. I don't think you can make eggplant wine. I think I've learned that. But maybe. Maybe you can. I don't know. Nor should you. Don't you um, tell me what to do. Eggplant okay. wine. Dude, I got so much You're iron ready. yesterday. Holy crap. Got like Ooh, 55 sorry. iron. Next thing you know, Price is trying to make like eggplant parmesan wine or something. And it's Ooh, like... you know it. You know what? I'll give it a I'll give it a go. <laughs> All right. no, no, never mind. No, you can definitely make eggplant wine. It just started God. making it. <laughs> that sounds so gross. I'm bringing everybody a taste. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> we can have you make fun radish here. wine? I might be able to. I don't know. Give me some radishes. We'll make it work. <laughs> I don't know. Like, if you think about vodka, it's just potato wine. You know what I mean? And that, that sounds yeah. crazy, but yeah. it works. Potato I mean, hey, wine. Last night we learned about cap wine. So, yeah. Yeah, that's true. F from there Which on, is when like, you take whatever. Captain Crunch and you make wine out of it. Yeah, everybody mm -hmm. loves. Mm -hmm. You know, you make it happen with the cabin. All right. No lie, that also sounds delicious. <laughs> that's, I would not, I would not Honestly, say no. Honestly, sounds better than eggplant wine, that's for sure. Here's um, what you do. You take your Cap'n Crunch milk, you let it ferment, then you drink it. <laughs> oh, Cap'n <'Cap'n> Crunch wine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, how, long, how long do you think it takes Cap'n Crunch to ferment? <laughs> it depends. If you keep it by the radiator, it speeds up the process. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, big kids. You want to have something real cool to drink? Well, then you need to try I... cap wine. Here's what do you remember do. the movie followed by the TV show in the 80s called Alien Nation? Aliens oh, got yeah. drunk off of fermented milk. It, all right? So yep. it's yep. it's not such a crazy idea. That's such a such a clatter. Also, um, isn't that what Mongolians drink, too? They drink fermented yes. yak's milk. No, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Um, I mean, it's not, it's not a thing that... Is entirely outside the realm of possibility. I think it's the it's the Captain Crunch edition that makes it disgusting. Okay, um, I think you're wrong, but I've also got an <laughs> Emily uh, 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 an event event right now. Welcome to the clothing therapy. <gasps> Ooh, you're probably wondering events, I wonder, what is clothing I probably, therapy. Yeah, I probably have an event too. I need to do. So many of us are struggling with personal issues, things holding us back from living how we want. It's important to me that everyone has a free and happy life, so I came up with a new kind of therapy to help people achieve that. Oh, she's going to reveal something. It's based on the amazing power of self-expression. Self-expression is a wonderful healing tool. Did you know that? You're a healing tool. That's true. Behind this curtain, you'll find racks and racks of clothes. There's endless options to choose from. Your job is simple. Find the outfit that truly speaks to you and put it on. Clint is here. I'm going to make him look like a fool. Feel confident in yourself and your choice. You all have a unique style to share with the world. Shane, you're so up. Rude. Oh, God. Shane's up first. Okay. Let's see what he does. Oh, God. Shane's up first. Don't you embarrass me, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going he's gonna to show his inner self. He's going to change his clothes. Oh, Rick, oh. you're just in time. Just observe and keep an open mind, okay? Shane. Oh, Shane's like wearing like a leather vest and like shiny leather pants. Nice, Ooh. nice. That sounds cool. Shane, down, it's I'm a new down. side of you we've never known about. Now go outside with confidence and show the world. I wish that this would be Shane permanently now. His hair is kind of like spiky and stuff. He's kind of like a punk rocker. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Hey, everyone cool gets kid. a turn. Cool kid. Now Robin's gonna go. Oh, Clint just said, "Oh no." <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, Robin's wearing like a green dress. She's pretty. It's kind of like a like a um, what would you call it? Like a prairie dress, I guess. Mm. Okay. Oh, here goes Mayor Lewis. He said, "Why not?" Why not? Just said, purple, not bad. just purple shorts. He's like, oh, I'm taking it back. He's a, he's a straight pimp. He's got like a pimp hat, a pimp cane, <laughs> a purple oh my gosh. pimp coat, and like this huge handlebar mustache. Oh my I love gosh! It. Oh my That's gosh! That's ridiculous. Of course, I run this town. Okay, um, I forget what her name is, but she's just wearing a suit of armor now. <laughs> Leah. Yeah, uh, maybe with the purple hair. No, oh, uh, oh. Um, Emily. No, not Emily. Ash's uh, old wife. Ash, Ash, what's your ex-wife's name? Abigail. Abigail. Yes, monster. Abigail. Abigail. <laughs> that makes sense. She's wearing an. Okay, Clint is very <laughs> nervous to do this. He said, "Gulp, Emily, I'll do it." Okay, I said he's gonna make a fool of himself. Let's nice. see what happens. Nice. Oh God, I hope you look like an idiot, Clint. <laughs> You are awful, man. He's wearing pink shorts, a blue polka dotted top, and a black beret. But Emily thinks it's cute. Aww, of course she does. He's, she thinks because he's cute. expressing himself, and that's all that's, that matters. Okay, do I have to do this now? Okay, I'm the last one. Well, that went very well. I just hope this experience helps everyone break out of their shell a bit. Oh, she's not going to let me do it. <gasps> okay, I see how it is. Wow. Rick, oh, hey. um... <sighs> Clint's blown up my spot. She was about to have a bonding moment. Clint comes barging back in the house and says, I couldn't do it. I don't want to break out of my shell. Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, I, I guess I'm interrupting something, aren't I? Damn it, Clint. Oh, Clint. Oh, my God. Just give me more trash. Oh, he just so, said, I understand. Congrats, Rick. Okay, I think he just conceded, he conceded. that. He conceded. Yes. <laughs> yes. You're the better man. Boo! Uh, oh my gosh. I got the ancient seed, so I'm going to go turn that into Gunther, which means everybody could probably pick up the ancient seed, um, the actual seed packet. So, mm, right, and that like grows, does that grow starfruit? I think, it, what does I that think grow? it grows the crystal fruit, which is an mm. ever-growing um, plant. But it has to be done in the uh, greenhouse. You can't it'll have to be in the pots. greenhouse, exactly. Yeah. Um, but it's incredibly valuable. Mm -hmm. So, would suggest everybody go grab your ancient seed. Yeah, because I've only... I haven't gotten a single pair of glasses yet from the trash pond. Mm. Are you just looking for one. quartz? I'm just looking for quartz, Jazz. I'm Have you gotten you, go to the mines. I yeah. did that yesterday, Jazz. You know how much I got from my whole day worth of the mines? I got three quartz. Why do you need quartz? To make more sprinklers. Uh, Ash, go into my chest, uh, the one by the smelters. I probably got quartz that you can take. <laughs> Sorry, usually we don't comment about chat, but right now people are putting F's in chat for Clint's heart. <laughs> oh no. All right, Rick, you have an amazing amount of quartz. Oh. I'm not going to take all those quartz. I'm going to. Yeah, can you split you, stacks? You, take like half, dude. Yeah. It's fine. Right click. Um, or maybe like. There it is. Click. You yeah. have to shift right click. There you go. Um. <clears throat> and I'm going to make a, uh, a seed maker. Because I think the best course of action as we make these, as we grow these ancient seeds, will be to make um, many of them. Yeah. Because I think I actually have an ancient seed um, seed packet. Oh, do you? Uh huh. I bought cool. it from um, the, oh, the Friday rare. lady. Gotcha. I don't even know her name. She has no name. She's like, yeah, I do. It's Glenda. She's a Friday Sunday lady. She's like, I have a name. <laughs> that also sounds like a euphemism. That, the that girl, Sunday? she's a Friday Sunday lady, if you catch my drift. <laughs> what does that You're mean? You're a real Friday to Sunday lady, if you know I what mean, I mean. I mean, she's working for the weekend, if you know what I mean. What? No, everybody does that. What are you talking about? Yeah. For real. No, I don't. What is with this euphemism? Okay, garden I pond. never understand what you're saying. Who? Who? Ooh All right, seed maker is a gold bar, 10 coal, 25 wood. 
Cold, um, cold, I think cold. tomorrow the crop should be. Re oh no, it's still two days. Damn it! Ah, stop sign. Bah. Um. Baram you. Baram you. All right. I have now made a seed maker. Cat here, ghost. <laughs> Peace off, ghost. Go talk to Anna. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She'll be like, what are you doing this weekend? So uh, can you set up auto fishers with the fishing ponds that you guys make as well? Yeah, I think you can. Oh, really? I did not know that. That's cool. I mean, it, it produces, um, there's like a little area where you can pick up your uh, row. Mm -hmm. I'm sure if you put a chest there, you could just auto pick oh, it up. Oh, yeah, yeah, duh, that's a good idea. I didn't think about that. That makes way too much sense. I'm gonna try that. Mm -hmm. Chest made yeah, it. I was just thinking here, like I if I wanted to put a pond somewhere. And I wonder if it connects to all of them. Maybe right here. Uh, maybe if they're all touching each other. Maybe. Yeah, it does. It does. So I put a chest at the back of my um, fishers, and uh, mm -hmm. it, I did the U to show the UI, and it shows them all connected. So sweet. Cool. Nido Pachito. Well, we're going to change the color of this one. It's going to be teal. Because everyone knows that that's the color of fish. It's not the color of How fish. How do you change the color of your chest? At the, at the top of the... Um, when you right-click it, the top of the screen. A bunch of colors you can pick. Oh, I've you just can also organize it, to look too. it up there. Yeah. Honestly, I need to... Yeah. I can probably just break that. Oh! that back uh what is the hotkey to see the linking in automate you you there it is okay that looks like those are all linked to that one chest now okay cool um i got i got 90 two. iron okay i have uh yeah i think it might yeah my place is looking pretty sweet as far as the layout for springtime i think i'm ready Ready to do I, some growing. I'm letting y'all know, I am going to kill one of our um, uh, uh, communal cranberries to put down oh. the ancient seed. So, just letting you know. It's dead! Murder! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> did you grab my seed, too? <clears throat> no, I just I just did the one that I had. Uh, okay. We can, uh, we can start it. that tomorrow. Yeah. Go to, go to bed. I started well it in the, in the upper left corner. That's where I put it. Okay. <sighs> I think we got them going because they take a long time to start growing, but then once they're grown, they mm -hmm. re replenish every couple of days or every, you know, week maybe, and they're worth a ton. And oh, I see turned, where it's at. They can be turned into oh, valuable. Wow. Uh, All right, I'm going to put it mine right next to this one. Okay. Going to bed, going to sleep for this the night. Might be a silly question, but you can't just put a whole like crap ton of chests next to crops and have them auto pick, can you? No, no. Okay. No, because there That'd are be some nice. crops that require like scything and stuff like that. I do. Yeah, I. Yeah, because it's not like it's not like an item that is waiting for you to come get it. It's something that you have to like literally like it becomes the item when you interact. Right, with it. right. Yeah, like if it automatically dropped the fruits, then it should automatically collect them, but <clears throat> yeah. alas, it does not. Who's not in bed? Get in bed. Me. I'm just dropping things off. Get in bed. Could you? I got so much crap on me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Going to bed. People are uh, mentioning the Junimo hut in, in chat. Yes, of course the Junimo hut exists. That's such, such an end game thing that you know. Ooh, nearly 20,000 for all that mayonnaise. Ooh-wee, how much mayonnaise did you sell? Ooh. Like 20 of them? <clears throat> wow. Okay. That'll do it. Do, do, do that mayo money. Mayo. Well, you know that money ain't coming from me. It ain't coming from me. I'm not the one buying the mail. So, you know. Uh, how's the, the mm. fish pond coming, Jazzy? Um... It's finished. Okay, cool. I'm gonna see what... I am researching a forgotten art of shadow divination. I require uh, item going as a vo void essence. Bring it to me, and you'll be rewarded. Mm. 
Jazz, you got any seaweed? Uh, yes, I do. I have 14. Awesome. I might, uh, I need to come steal some. My, my fish wants some. <laughs> I, have tw I have 24 Void Essence. All right. Nice. Got a cat over here next to me. He's, he's trying to get yeah. into the, the closet. He can, yeah. like, see through the crack, but he can't get in, so he is just mesmerized. Yeah. Silly little kitty. He, he, uh, Archer has, like, this thing where he, like, can't meow properly and doesn't pure, uh, purr properly. Oh. So when he purrs, it sounds like, kind of like snoring, almost. Aww. And then when he meows, it's just like the tiniest, you can barely hear it, just That's it. That's all he can do. Mm hmm Then there's, Cute. then there's Lana, who just all day long. Screeches it up. Just reminds you what a real meow is. Uh, <laughs> you call that a meow? <laughs> this, <laughs> that's not a meow. This is a meow. Yeah, I'm making fun calling, of you, buddy. I've been calling uh, Blue Squeaky lately because he just sort of like, he is constantly complaining about something. Yeah. But like, he doesn't fully meow unless he's like really angry about it. <laughs> but like, he like if he wants your attention, he goes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like multiples. Yeah. Like. Yikes. And then if he's really like. Desperate, he he'll actually do like a full meow. <laughs> My goodness, yeah, Lana will like if if you're not paying enough attention to her, she'll she'll talk to you, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And then Kevin is always demanding. Of course. Oh, Kevin. So right. the wedding ring recipe from the other vendor—that's just for if I want to marry one of you nerds, right? Yes, yeah. correct. Got it. You're trying to find shortcuts. You're like, how do I get this marriage underway? <laughs> Not even shortcuts, just ways of like making it happen. It is a little frustrating that the the game tied the the marriage opportunity to that, because it, it can be difficult to get a rainy day when you need it to happen. Rainy also, nobody nobody days. wants to get married on a rainy day. Like that's just like what's going on here. Ash, do you have a gold bar that I can take? We'll call it evens for the the quest trade. Sure, I do. Yeah, I'm. Positive. Yeah, I'm just gonna take one. Thank you. Um, oh, that's right. I can transmute too. I totally forgot. Transmute oh, yeah. two copper or iron bars into a gold bar. I 100% uh, forgot about that as well. Right. Okay, How I much? have expanded. Woo. Yes, now I'm like really happy with my uh, my growing area. Heck. To the yes, dude. Um, put all this, this just way. turned in that void essence for a thousand gold. Nice. Yep. Bought myself a different hat, and then as I was running with it, I was like, you know what? I'm going back to baby. <laughs> going back to hey, baby. baby. <laughs> That's like such like uh, other people say going back to basics. Ash, that's going back to baby. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, that's good. That's good. I just want a rap album from you called Going Back to Baby. Got it. Do, do, um, do, do, do. Iron is around 80, is that right? Or is it more like 40? Uh, 40 to 40 to 80. Like, you'll find it below that, but then you're, you're getting into gold territory. Do, do, do. Dude, the cheese game, man. Oh, and I, uh, I'm upgrading the, the barn now. So, Price, what kind of cheese are you making? Uh, right now, it's just, we're just we're we're going simple. We got some some simple uh, uh, cheddars, you know, nothing too, nothing too bonkies. Do do do. But soon, once I get the uh, the goats going, we're gonna have ourselves some. Uh, some chev. Ooh, we make some chev, y'all. Chev. All right, let's go fishing, maybe, or mining. We'll go fishing. I got. It is that. Kids. It really is that point in the game, though, where it's like, okay, what do we? Oh. What do we need to do? Yeah. Oh, this is interesting. Well, I didn't realize. Winter. Jazzy, I didn't realize that your pawns, when you do those quests, I think that levels up your pond. Yeah, and then you can get more fish. And you can get more fish. Yeah, I didn't realize that. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Because, like, my lava eel is, like, the only one 
in his little thing, but I bet if I get a quest for him, then suddenly I can get a couple more. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, I had nearly 10 um, Midnight Carp before Dang. I decided to be like, let's, uh, let's switch you guys out. That's How much awesome. does it cost to uh, to make the fish pond? Uh, it's like 5,000, and you need a bunch of stone and uh, seaweed. It's a bit of a process. Seaweed? Yeah, the seaweed yeah. part is actually kind of the tricky part. I just remember, it's Friday. Let's go talk to Friday, lady. Oh, and if someone has the money for it, I don't. Uh, someone could go buy an iridium sprinkler from Krobus. Because it's Friday. Oh, he always says oh yeah, one yeah. iridium that, sprinkler. Like, 20 grand, something I like that? I can do that. Something I'm like that. Right. It's like maybe 15 or 20. Yeah, I definitely can. Wow, this lady's selling one bug meat for 700. Who does she think she is? Wait, what? What do you do with the bug meat? That's, uh, you turn it into bait. <laughs> right. What? 700? Exactly. No, exactly. It's on a barbed hook for 2,000. You think I can't go get that from Willie for like a quarter of the price? Not cool, lady. Not cool. Look, it's quality. Quality. Yeah, but then you have Is to talk to Willie, you know? <laughs> that's, uh, that's, okay. Uh, that's, the, that's the markup. Poor, poor, poor Willie indeed. Oh, wait. wait. It happens, you know? No, Krobus. Oh, there we go. I had to talk to Krobus twice before you. Uh, Radiant Sprinkler's yeah. only 10 grand. Not too bad. Yeah, first you gotta go say hello, and then you say goodbye.